This picture has been plastered across TV screens for the last several hours. Almost 24 hours yeah. now. Lamarcus Smith has been the subject of an Amber Alert. Many of you likely woke up too early this morning. Now his family is sharing their side of this story. In an exclusive interview, they tell CBS 19's Ladarian Cole why they believe this is all a misunderstanding. And I think that's the way it was put out originally, that there was some welfare concerns for the two-year-old. This is what Henderson police believed and what was shared with the public only hours after two-year-old Ariel Smith was said to have been abducted from her mother's home late Tuesday night. Just shortly ago, as you all know, the child was brought here to the Henderson Police Department completely safe and sound. We want to clear his name and then we don't have anything to hide from Henderson Police Department. That's Ricardo Smith, the brother of Ariel's father, Lamarcus Smith. My brother was having problems with his baby's mother. She called and said that uh, my brother had kidnapped the baby, which was a false accusation because my brother's had the baby the whole time since childbirth. Ricardo says his brother would never put Ariel in danger. And I just think they brought shame to our family's name behind all this foolishness without getting enough information. Under the criteria for the Amber Alert system, this question is asked. Is the child 17 years or younger, whose whereabouts are unknown, and whose disappearance law enforcement has determined to be unwilling, which poses a credible threat to the child's safety and health? And if abducted by a parent or legal guardian, was the abduction in the course of an attempted murder or murder? Its criteria, Ricardo says, didn't apply here. He's a great dad. I mean, he got his faults, but he take care of his baby. And then where he falls short, me and my mom helps out. So, I mean, Ariel's always been well taken care of. We need to just pursue full custody of Ariel and uh, just go from there. Several agencies, including the District Attorney's Office and Child Protective Services, are now helping to further investigate the case.